I had an old iPad which was sitting in the drawer for ages and didn't know what to do with it. So I'm using it for my monitor, for my um, panels and inverter. I uh, bought a little stand for it, sits in the kitchen. I find it quite useful. Wife probably hates it. So, um, okay, so we're generating 1.1 kilowatt hours at the moment. Sun's just coming out a bit. Battery at 82%. That's been charging overnight on Octopus Go. And um, then we've got to, oh, the same display is on my Echo Show 8. Although because it's a smaller screen, you can't get everything on. But um, this is normally showing photographs, not this display. But you could uh, use Node Red to resize the, the little dials, etc., and get it all to fit on that screen. So I'm in the garage where the inverter is and all the other paraphernalia, and a couple of batteries. Now, then, to get this Modbus stuff working, the first thing you'll need to do is to give your, uh, you've probably already done this, but if you haven't, you've got to give your inverter an IP address. Okay, so you go to settings. Then select ethernet. And then, <clears throat> Give it an IP address. Okay, you can either use static or DHCP. Um, I've used static, and of course, give it an IP address that matches up with your network. Okay, oops, just got my finger in the video. Told you it was unprofessional. Uh, this is just a little kitchen cupboard where I've got my computer equipment. Uh, got the main Pi in there running Node Red, and a backup Pi and some other stuff. Okay, so hopefully by now you have put an IP address on your inverter and you've connected your inverter onto your network. Now to make sure that's worked correctly, you need to just ping your inverter. So open a command prompt and just ping the inverter. Mine is 118. and you can see I'm getting a response from the inverter. If you don't get a response from your inverter, there's no point in carrying on in any further until you've fixed that. Okay, so you get the response from the inverter, and uh, in this first uh, stage, we're just gonna make sure that we can uh, collect the data from the inverter. We won't be setting up all the display, just making sure the data's coming out. So you need to have installed the Modbus stuff. Okay, so when I say Modbus stuff, I actually mean the Node Red Contrib Modbus. Once you've installed that uh, using your Manage Palette, you'll end up with 14 Modbus nodes. And the one you need to use is the Modbus Getter node. This one here, so we drag that on. And we've got to just configure a couple of things here. The unit ID is going to be one. We're going to read input registers, starting from address zero, and we're going to read up to the next 99 registers and we've got to set up our inverter as the server so we just click on a new Modbus, Modbus client and configure it it's pretty straightforward put in your IP address in there port is the default port 502 TCP is default, unit ID is 1, that's all you need to do, we could give it a name, ok and add that, <coughs> and we'll give 
well we don't need the names at the moment so that's all you need to do then we just need to have an inject node and a debug node and deploy it and I'll turn on the debug so we can see what's coming out so I'll send in a timestamp and you can see it's come back with all this data and this data has come back from your inverter so this is the data coming back from the inverter and there's not a lot of uh, information in it at the moment because I'm doing this at night and the panels aren't generating anything but one of the registers should have the state of the battery charge in it and uh, as you can see my battery charge is 11 percent and I know that tw register 28 is the battery charge register that says 11 percent okay so once you've reached this stage you you've you've done the hardest bit all you need to do now is download my flow which I'll put online for you to download from my Dropbox and then in the second part we'll set up the, uh, the function to drive all these displays and um, make it appear on your web browser well I told you this was going to be boring like all of my videos and totally unprofessional and I'm really sorry the volumes keep going up and down but I haven't got a professional setup or anything I'm just using a crappy webcam and a, a Android phone but uh, you know if you get this going it really is useful because you're getting real time updates of the data from your inverter and uh, you know you just glance at it in the morning when you come down from when you come down to breakfast and you think ah oh, yeah the battery's charged to 80 percent it went it charged okay overnight you just get so much good information from it anyway i'll stop waffling now and um, look out for the second part if you've got any comments it'd be nice if there are nice comments um, just leave them below thanks bye for now